Hello, this is Eric with Pyroboom, and what I want to do is I want to demonstrate uh, PVC versus HDPE. And uh, PVC, the material, is brittle. And one of the things about PVC too, when you're doing con uh, consumer mortar tubes, is the tube is actually a little bit bigger inside the inner diameter, the ID. But the main purpose of this video is to show you that PVC is not a good option so I want to show you what happens to PVC, just a demonstration. I'm not going to actually put a firework inside of here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hit it with a hammer. So I don't recommend you doing this at all. I have safety gear on, I'm wearing gloves. So I just want to demonstrate to you why not to use PVC. Because a lot of people actually, believe it or not, use PVC. It's a mistake. You want to use either fiberglass or cardboard or the premium, the best, I believe, in my opinion is the HDPE. And if you know this too, HDPE is a little bit thicker. If you can see in the video, you probably can't tell too well, but it is thicker than the, the wall of the tube. And also, just so you know, just to demonstrate, uh, you can't see it, but on the bottom of this shampoo bottle, uh, this kid shampoo bottle, this is uh, HDPE. So if you ever notice when you're in the shower, using body wash or uh, shampoo for your hair, or conditioner or whatever, many of those bottles are actually uh, made out of HDP. It's real, it's really pliable, quite durable, and uh, if you drop it, it's not gonna break or anything like that, so it's a great, it's a great uh, plastic for bottles, but it's also an awesome plastic to be used on uh, fireworks. So what I wanna do first is show you uh, the HDP. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna smack this tube with a hammer. So let me get my gear on and uh, we'll take a look. And let me hit this with a hammer. So what I have is a, this is like a whatever, a two, three, maybe five pound, I'm not sure, but it's a it's a big old hammer. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna hit this tube and I'm gonna hit it uh, and I'll show you what happens. So let's go ahead and hit it and uh, put it down here and watch. I'm just gonna smack it. Now if you notice, it's cold where I'm at, I'm actually uh, in a cold area right now, but nothing happened. Let me give it another smack, see if I can hit a little bit harder and see if I can get anything out of this at all. Uh, you can see it didn't do anything at all. Let me hit it again. And, uh, well, you can see it did, uh, it's not as round as it was, but hence the pliable. And there's nothing, no pieces, nothing broken at all. And I hit that pretty hard. I didn't hit super hard. But I gave it a good smack. Obviously a firework is going to be a lot more powerful than what I did. Now let's take the PVC and let's see if I can give that a good whack and let's see what happens here when we use PVC and this is kind of simulating a firework shell and let's see what happens. So we got the PVC and let's smack her one time and see what happens. Well it held up which is surprising so let's give it another smack and see what happens. Let's do a little bit harder. Yeezers. That had plastic everywhere. <laughs> uh, so we can see uh, I got plastic everywhere. I'm, I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I count several pieces of large plastic. When I say large, I would not these little chips, but just laying all around. This thing just shattered. So you don't want this inside of, uh, well, you don't want this to be used as a firework rack. So, hey, thanks a lot for watching. Please be safe. Please don't use PVC. As you can see, it's a dangerous choice. You don't want to create shrapnel. You don't want to create any dangerous situation. So whatever you do, just make sure that you use cardboard, fiberglass, or HDPE. And again, don't use PVC to light a shell out of uh, for a launcher. Thanks a lot. Light at the sky. Be safe. Take care.